Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for everyone that's watched my last one um, and everyone that's subscribed, it really means a lot. Um, so basically for my second video, I'm going to take you to a lactate lab test which I completed just before Christmas now um, over at Southampton Stirling University. So why a lab test? Um, right, so first of all it's the gold standard across the world um, and this is just because it's the closest way um, of estimating what's going on in my body. Since coming back from injury, um, I found it really difficult to sort of judge my training zones, um, pace and heart rate based. Um, I, I haven't known where I've been um, for the past year, so I actually got injured December last year. Um, and obviously it's been like a really long road to recovery, um, so I've had to take everything very slowly. Um, and now that I am pain free completely and back up to my normal training volume, um, I really was interested to see, am I, one, am I training at the right pace? Two, is it making a difference to my fitness? Um, so yeah, that sort of was my way of thinking behind a lactate test. Um, so like I said, at the moment, everything I've done is a complete guesstimate. Um, and I really wanted to see if I was where I thought I was or if I'm maybe worse or was I better. I did this test to help identify my training zones, again, heart rate and um, pace based, which was interesting to see for sure. basically I completed mine on um, running um, so you can do bike as well but because I haven't really concentrated on my bike getting better because I've been trying to get back from this injury for running and um, so I thought a lactate test for running would be most appropriate. I completed mine on a treadmill um, and this is just because it's part of the gold standard lab test um, and it's just easier to change the um, speed of the treadmill and it's easier to take my blood. Um, so every three minutes when I'm running, I will jump off the side of the treadmill and I have a physiologist take um, blood from the top of my finger. And then while he's doing that, the treadmill will slowly increase pace and then I'll go for another three minutes. And then once that three minutes done, I'll then jump back off. He'll take another blood sample from my finger. And then um, I'll just repeat that until I physically can't run anymore. Um, so you'll see in the video that I have a harness on at the start and that's literally just to protect me if I fall, um, which, which can happen. It happens to quite a lot of people. You push your body to its limits and you wanna see where it can go. Fortunately, I didn't have to use a harness, which was good because I was quite scared about falling back anyway. I've made a short clip of my experience in the lab. Um, so from baseline measurement, so um, weight um, to my resting blood lactate. So that's a really important one to take. Basically, what I wanted to see was were my training zones in the right zone? Now from this, I found that I actually was training slower than I should be to see um, a increase in my performance which is absolutely fine because that one there are no races and two I have just come back from a nasty injury. It's really positive to see that I've actually am fitter than I thought I was um, and it just means that I can implement this now in my training going ahead. Um, I did actually do a 5k, uh, 5k time trial run just before Christmas as well just to see where I was in, in terms of speed and fitness again um, which again will help me because now I can use my results from this lactate I can actually implement it to my training and then hopefully in a few months time I'll do the same 5k time trial and hopefully see a difference in my speed. I do apologise um, because basically because I'm new to this vlogging I don't actually know how to use my camera so I didn't realise that after a certain time the camera will just turn itself off um, so I unfortunately it, it died at the second to last stage so I don't have the, the footage of me running the last stage where I completely died. Probably 
better for me because then you don't see me in a horrific state. Um, but yeah, so I do, do, do just apologise. So I did do one more stage after the one that you will see till the end. But yeah, other than that, that, that was the whole test. <laughs> smoothly the guys at Southampton Solon were brilliant and um, they taught me through everything um, what could happen what results I'm expected to get from this uh, it's just super useful to have I would completely recommend um, going to someone if you've got anyone near you to get a lactate if you're really that serious about your training zones and heart rate and um, pace and um, so I've, I've talked about heart rate quite a lot just because previously I've never really concentrated on my heart rate, I didn't really think it was a thing. I was just very pace focused. Having a boyfriend as, um, as a physiologist is very, very helpful because it means that everything that he learns, he implements to his training and then he can teach me and I implement to my training. Um, and it's just a field that he loves. So to see that he's so passionate about it, it really gets me geared up and want to try it. For me, that was something new that I've never come across. So it was, again, just interesting to see what pace is matched with the heart rate zone. So I can really make sure that I'm working hard through the week and then those really easy runs are actually easy. Um, just because I think before I was just going out thinking, right, I need to run for an hour and a half as quick as I can, which is totally wrong. Um, and being a sports therapist as well. Um, it's totally wrong from a injury perspective, but we never listen to ourselves. So thank you very much for watching my video. Please remember to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.